everyone. Well, it's been a while since I put a video out. It's been awfully hot down here in Georgia. It's those summer dog days now. It was hot in May, June, July, and now we're well into August, and it's still well into the 90s. Well, what does that mean? It means I can get out and hunt in the woods for a few hours in the morning, and that's about it. I found a nice site. It's an old home site, probably turn of the century, back in the woods. So I've um, uh, been hunting it the last couple of mornings and made some pretty decent finds. Check it out. Back in the woods, exploring a new spot today. Dug a lot of shotgun shells so far, but I found a nice shady pine grove out here and some space to keep me busy. About four inches down in that hole, I just pulled up a little round ball, a little pistol ball. I think it's bigger than the 36. That might be around a 40 cal. Anyway, it's a good sign. Got some age on it, and you can see the sprue. Looks like it's unfired all right well we'll keep looking around here see what we can come up with watch out for snakes well ran into a spot back here in the woods this morning lots of iron a lot of it's modern but just came across a 91 signal pretty shallow actually and pulled this up and that is a rains guide it is so dry out here no rain for so long it's hard to dig but getting good signals so we'll explore around here a little bit see what we can find well I believe I found where the old house was there's a brick right there on the ground and I'm sticking my shovel on the ground here and there's quite a few bricks just right under the surface here well first good coin signal of the day 86 out of the ground. You can see the rim, looks like a penny. Thought we'd break it open together here. Let's see what we have. There's Mr. Lincoln. That's a weedy. Let's see. We can get a date. Oh, it's, it's an early one. 1918. Awesome. All right. And there's a heavily wooded area, but it's actually fairly clear for digging. Got a solid 88 signal. And I uncovered this. It's like a makeup compact, but it's real heavy. So I thought I'd turn on the camera and maybe we could open it live just in case it's full of silver dimes or something cool. So, we'll do that next. And in the same hole, I stood up and I got another 52 signal. Just pulled this out. Looks like a pin. Camera's having a hard time focusing. The sun's not even up yet. Wow, that's really pretty. Very delicate. Yeah, I think it's a pin. Lots of shotgun shell signals out here, guys, and I've been digging quite a few of them, but this was a 68, and it is not a shotgun shell. Some kind of a pin. Might have had a picture or a cameo in there. I'll see if I can find it in the hole. If it was... A picture obviously it's long gone but wow very nice ninety three signal on the dais a little bit of surprise silver nineteen fifty three I believe yep Well, there's a little pin that just came out. 74 on the XP day, so it might be silver. 
I don't know though. It's shiny, but I'll have to look for some markings. So I've been seeing some bones scattered. I don't know if you can see some right up here. Probably from a deer. I came back this way with the detector, got into this area and saw this. Antlers still attached. Nice little buck. Too bad he had to go to waste. down here only about four inches just pulled this out of the hole and it looks like it was the cover to a pocket watch there's writing on the inside here Let's see if I can get it right side up for you well, it's like this I guess I can't read it without a magnifying glass but I think it's from a pocket watch Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, back at the car, just cleaning things up. It's starting to get hot outside. Dug this brass piece out there. It didn't look real uh, old, so I put it in, in the pouch and moved on. But as I was cleaning it up here back at the car, I see a name in the middle there. And then some verbiage in the corner up here that looks like it's printed backwards. It says... Central of Georgia Railway Co. Interesting. Well, we'll clean it up a little further. Kind of a neat piece. Click an old railroad tag. Okay, let's wrap this one up with a review of the finds. That home site was a fun place to hunt. I'll tell you what, I love hunting in the shade this time of year, and the woods is the only place to get that. I was encouraged when I found the range guide and the pistol ball right away on the hunt. That, that was a good sign. But then once I found that home site, it was mostly more modern uh, finds that came out of the ground. Got that 53 Rosie, 1918 Weedy. This watch back was kind of interesting. Let's see if I can show that to you here. See if you can read that. It says, guaranteed to be made of two plates of 10 karat gold over fine hard metal and to wear for 20 years. That's their way of saying this is gold plated. But it is a, a heavy gold plate, I will tell you that. Very shiny when it came out of the ground. And this was real fun to find here actually. That Fleur de Lis is a decorative part that came on top of this little money box. And when I opened it up, I was real confused. I thought maybe it was a uh, compact for, for makeup, but it's not. It's actually an old coin purse made for dimes and quarters. You can see dimes fit perfectly into this slot right here, and it's spring-loaded. You can see there's still a spring inside that one, and you can load your dimes in there. I'm sure they had the same setup for quarters over here. But unfortunately, when I opened it up, there was nothing in it. Still kind of a neat find, and again, that Fleur de Lis, which came off of this when I dug it, would have attached right on top here like that. So kind of a neat little find. I've never found anything like that before. And then this plate, we can take a look at that real close. I uh, haven't cleaned it up real good yet. I wanted to be able to read it, but it is printed in reverse. So it's obviously a printing plate of some kind. Uh, it's about business card sized, but it looks like some kind of a tag. The name down here is W.D. Bamer, B-E-Y-M-E-R. And he was the uh, auditor, he was appointed auditor of the Central of Georgia Railway Company back in 1902. And he served several years as a director all the way into the 19-teens. So kind of a neat piece, an old printing plate. I'm not sure if it was used on, on luggage or if it was more of a business card or what was going on here with this, but kind of a neat find. 
to, to see that all in reverse, knowing that it was a printing plate at one point. Nothing on the back side, just a big, heavy hunk of brass. So anyway, I hope you guys are getting out and enjoying some metal detecting this summer. It's been an awfully hot summer here in Georgia. I can't wait until the temps start cooling off and we get a little more rain to liven up the ground a little bit. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. We hope to see you again soon. Yeah.